All right. And now we're at Rogue versus Maru. That was a crazy comeback there for, for Raynor. That game was on a knife's edge the whole time, though. Like, if either player messed up, it was just over. But yeah, that last engagement, Dark just took the Parasitic Bombs and the Hydras, and he couldn't split. He, he should have just pulled back. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Would you say Dark played too passive? I don't know. There wasn't really much of an angle of attack that he could have done. This board and Lurker coverage was too good. Um, I think he just needed to take better engagements when Raynor moved out across the map. And he actually did really nice counterattacks while that was happening too. Hey guys, I am hella excited for this match. This is Rogue and Morrow. These guys have played some phenomenal StarCraft in their times together. All right, so we have a two on one here for Morrow. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to one that happens because it's not much is gonna happen here. We have an Evo Chamber going down here for Rogue. He's gonna get fast plus one Carapace. This is the pretty standard response. And we have Maru pushing out now. Uh, now, interestingly enough, the attack's usually supposed to hit right about now. Maru's doing an interesting variant of this where he actually has Hellbats at this push as well, which is a really excellent addition here. I actually like this a lot. I like this a lot because you don't usually build Banelings against this because if the Marine Micro is good enough, then it doesn't matter. But now... With no Banelings, the Hellbats are going to be really powerful. With the Metamax here, the Hellbats are going to be even more powerful. Yeah, I actually really like this here for, for Maru. Let's see what happens here. Uh, the Hellbats need to be protected here. They need to be covered. The Banelings nest is only just now going down here for Rogue. So this is going to be really interesting to see how Rogue holds this. Cancels the Spine Crawler here. So now Maru's going to re-rotate down here to the south side. And he has his third base finishing up here. Rogue's fourth base immediately canceled. Rogue knows he can't fight this. He just can't fight this. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah, having only one meta back here is very uncomfortable for the Terran player. Uh, what Rogue is doing makes sense. Lots of queens, a bailing nest, and bailing speed. Uh, is that a Widowmine drop that we see coming down here? Because Marines do Marines do six damage by default. So if you have plus one Carapace on all of your links, all the Marines now do five damage, which is a sixteen percent or twenty percent damage reduction. So think of the entire Terran DPS output, and now imagine twenty percent of it is gone. It's a very nice upgrade to have. Because you're expecting only Marines. And Carapace just scales well against Marines. Alright, so here comes the push here. I don't think this is going to work here. But the bio, the my drop in the main actually kills a lot of these drones here. But the entire push here from Maru gets completely evaporated here. Even without Baneling Speed here. 18 drones is a lot of drones though. Is Was that worth it? I think it was. I think 18 drones is enough. Maru's actually ahead in workers right now. And the Widowmine's here also getting some really excellent shots here. Holy crap. Rogue's counterattack completely set back here from three Widowmine's. Unbelievable play here. And somehow more drones are going down here. Maru is absolutely relentless here. And he still has this Widowmine off cooldown. He's insane. Maru's absolutely insane. He's bonkers. I can't believe how much damage Maru's gotten done with these Widowmines here. Okay, but hold up. These Baileys coming in here actually have the potential to do a lot of economic damage here. They're going in towards the SCV line. And will they actually detonate here? They certainly will. A lot of SCVs going down here on all sides. 17 SCVs going down here. And now Rogue is way up in workers. What a game of knick-knack paddywhack we've got on our hands here. This is just getting beaten by a tennis racket. Imagine this game is a ball. And a tennis racket is just bouncing it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That's what's happening right now. That analogy required way too much explanation to work. Meanwhile, there's still a Widowmine here. Oh my god. Uh, teach a man to fool me once with uh, six of one and half a dozen of the other, and you'll feed a woman for a lifetime. Wait. I don't know. 
All right, so we have more Winter Mines coming out here. The nonsense here from Maru. Rogue is just having to scramble all over to take care of. Now, Mars pushing in here with a pretty insane amount of bio. Rogue's bailing is nowhere in position here, and he needs to save this fourth base. If he doesn't save the fourth base, he's in a really bad position here. Losing several drones here as well. Keep in mind that Maru can pick up a go towards the main. That's exactly where he's going. The queens are there to defend. And so Maru will be forced to pull that uh, drop completely back. Um, Definitely like this position for Maru better. You get a win of mine. You get a win of mine. Everybody gets a win of mine. Jesus, they're still going. Maru is playing out of his mind right now. Look at the production tab, for God's sake. Maru's just a machine, dude. Yeah, guys, I, I don't know. Rogue's in trouble. Rogue's in a lot of trouble. Look at the supply, for God's sake. Maru is ahead 50 supply against one of the best Zergs in the world and the two-time winner of this tournament. Like, this is insane. Maru is so good. I don't know why so many people count out Maru when they're making like top five lists and things like that. Guys, Maru is ridiculously good. Yeah, and the creep spread here from Rogue is abysmal as well. Oh, that was so smart. He burrowed a widow mine that has no charge. And since Rogue doesn't have an overseer, he pulled back. Oh my goodness. And there's still drone damage from the widow mines. I can't believe this. Maru's at 81 SCBs. He's building a fifth base. The planetary is about to get done here. But Maru is so ridiculously good at this game. Look at this. Look at this. Rogue can't do anything. It's insane. He has basically no mailings here. The queens are going to take a pounding. And Maru is doing this without a single siege tank. Oh my god. Okay, so he's going to pick up and pull out here. A nice hold there from Rogue. But look at the supply. And now, once again, another drop here from Maru. Never attacking one place at once. He's going to focus down the hatch. Rogue loses his very important third base. And this is just disastrous here. This widow mine still has the potential to kill more drones. After all of this nonsense, there's widow mines here as well. There's still a widow mine here. He's gonna pick up another great widow mine shot here from Maru. I can't believe this. Oh my God, Maru is playing rogue like a fiddle right now. Rogue's gonna try to go for lurkers here, but we're looking at a maxed out Maru with plus three on the way, a Ghost Academy, four bases, and three more CCs. Y'all, this is over. Like, I, I don't know how Rogue could possibly come back from here. Maru would have to throw his entire army away multiple times. And he still has a drop on the top right. He's going to bring that in right now. The drop of the main will get cleaned up here. The drop of the fourth base here. There is a lurker, but the tanks are spread quite well. And there is another drop coming down here at the third base of Rogue. There is nothing to defend. Rogue's going to lose his third base once again. And there is just no way that Rogue can come back in this game. He's going to yoink the siege tanks here, but he loses the third base. And this is absolutely over. Maru is a god. Maru is a god. I don't understand how he's able to do this. He is an absolute mad lad. Oh my god. There, there's just no way. And Rogue can't get any counter damage done here. And Maru with a beautiful spread here on this bio is going to pick off three lurkers and just pull back. And, he, and every time Maru trades, it's good for Maru. And Rogue is nowhere close to getting plus three. Oh my god. He's got the lurker upgrades now, but this is just, this is just ridiculous. That is art. I agree. That dead queen sliding was quite beautiful. And I'll say that as a Zerg player. Um, look, guys. I, I don't know how Rogue could possibly come back here. That's a nice cancel on, or that's a nice kill on that CC. But like, ghosts are coming out now. There's no way for Rogue to take a fifth base. 
Rogue is on permanent timeout in his corner. Like, there's just nothing to be done here. How do you even move out on the map? Mar, Mar, yeah. And that's the thing. That's what, that's what's scary about this, guys. Uh, that was an unfortunate engagement there from Maru. But, guys, let's, let's be clear. We're talking anywhere from, at, at some point in his career, Rogue was either the best Zerg player in the world, and at any time, he's never been less than, like, I don't know, the fifth best Zerg player in the world. Rogue is, like, easily one of the best Zergs ever. And Maru is just wrecking him here. GG is finally called. Rogue not gonna suffer anymore. That was some of the scariest ZVT I've ever seen. I can't tell you just how incredible Maru played right there. That was insane. That was absolute madness. All right. No, certainly not, Plecto. Unfortunate. But Maru, man. Maru is so good. Maru man sounds kind of like Saru man. I'm going to call Maru Saru man now. I think that's the, that's the only name you can really use to describe him. Oh my god, that went a mind shot. Rogue is unfortunately getting trapped behind his own buildings here. And this drop from Maru has already done an insane amount of damage with how few units were here. These Marines are all still alive, and he blocks the Spore. I... Oh my god. He's gonna kill a Queen. He's gonna kill a Queen. The Hellions are here now. Rogue is getting wrecked. He's gonna lose all these drones. Oh no! Rogue! Oh, Maru's so good! He's so good! All of these drones are completely exposed. There's no way for Rogue to save all this. Uh, he's, he's just gonna lose way too much economy here, right? Like, there's there's... There's basically no way to come back in this game. I will say, the cleanup here from Rogue has actually been surprisingly good, but I want to see the units lost tab, and I want to see Rogue just cry. Like, there's... There's, like, nothing to be done here now, right? Like... Oh! Oh! Oh, Maru! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, this is just awful. Wow. Like, I can't believe how much damage Rogue just got done with all of those units after all of that. Like, what did he lose? He lost a Medivac, a Widowmine, four Marines, and six Hellions. He killed 14 drones delayed an insane amount of mining time. Like, kill the queen, delay a spore, delay the everything for that, for that unit exchange. Okay, Rogue's going all in now, which I think is the only option he really has. He's gonna do a Roachling Lavager all in. Um, and Maru, unfortunately, trying to take a third base here. He, sh he should know now. He immediately, no! He has the siege tank on the bunker! No! Oh no, Maru! Oh, he might- Wow! That was the best ping up on a siege tank I've ever seen in my life! I can't believe that Maru saved that siege tank. That was insane. Okay, the Liberator's coming back now. The Liberator's gonna have a hard time sieging here with, um, with the Ravagers here, but he does kill the tank. The boys have been pulled. Can Rogue win this with the counter all in? All of the boys are pulled here! I think that Maru just might have blundered here. He kills all the Ravagers. Is it enough? Isn't enough. Yes, it is. GG. Wow. Wow. Is Maru gonna 3 0 the previous IEM champion? Oh, God, we've got a bunker rush. Oh, man. Rogue finds it, too. Oh, buddy. Oh no! Oh wait, never mind. Sorry. He, I thought he, I thought he accidentally didn't pull the drone that, or pulled an SUV that had minerals on it, so you couldn't actually mine out the wall the whole way. But he does. So it's two racks. It's a two racks bunker rush, and Rogue has seen it. He's building lings. He's building queens. 
Mario's just been chilling here. Okay, how many drones does he pull? He pulls a lot of drones. Holy crap, this is a lot of drones here. Oh, beautiful micro here from Rogue, saving that one injured drone. He needs to get that one injured drone on the SCD that's uh, building the bunker, though. He does get a pretty nice round here on this Marine. Does Rogue. Very nicely done here so far. Uh, can he kill? He doesn't get the SCV. He needs to get the SCV. Holy God, he needs to get the... Okay, so he gets the SCV. He's going to get the bunker, and this is help. Okay. Nicely done there from Rogue, but he's down to 14 drones. He lost six drones in that. I think this is still worth it for the Terran. I think the Terran's in a better spot. Losing six drones is a lot of drones. Yeah, no, Maru's, Maru's definitely ahead here. Wow. Just wow. Holy crap. What were we looking at there? Why don't Terrans do the three bunker wall when they two racks? I don't get it. I don't know. I think... Does that, does that involve you needing to pull a third SCV? Oh, word. Can you do that on this map? Romanticide has a really wide natural wall. Can you actually put three bunkers and wall off completely on this map? I don't think you can. I think you can on submarine. Every map? Really? Wow. Bunkers are wider than I thought. Three bunkers can fit that entire area? Really? Wow. Wow. Really? I don't even think I can fit that with three Evo chambers. Are you sure? Am I? You have to put them diagonally? Oh, okay. 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 I, I, it looks, it looks so deceiving here. Oh no. Oh no. Guys. I think Maru's gonna 3 0 one of the best Zergs in Korea. I think he's gonna do it right now. I, th I think he's actually gonna do it right now. He killed 14 drones and didn't lose a heli. Now, this is a beautiful counter attack here from, from Rogue. But he didn't kill a single SCV. Okay, now he's killing SCVs. Um, I, okay. Rogue needs to do way more damage than this so far. And there's still a hell of a lot of legs in the way here. The siege tank is going to be enough. And with the medevac coming back here as well, I think Maru's held this. So those four Hellions killed 14 drones. And Maru didn't lose a unit. He killed six drones in the beginning. And Rogue, Rogue just has no money. Maru is doing exactly what Terran players should be doing. Don't ever let the Zerg have drones. And then you're fine. Because you see Rogue, who is easily one of the best Zerg players in the world, and he's just powerless. He can't do anything. Um, I can't believe Maru is still training against this. Wow! Oh my god, how did he not lose more shit there? Wow. I am blown away. This is an interesting set of supply depots here for Maru. I actually have no idea why he did that. That's not a wall in any way. At first, I thought it was a really weird wall between the, the natural and the top corner, but, like... Yeah, so... Um, I can't imagine Maru not just crushing him with this next push. Like, Rogue's just gonna have no units. And going for Mutas here, like... It works with an economy, but Rogue just has no economy. He only has 47 drones, and it's just not enough.
And this siege position is why I hate this map. Surprisingly enough, most Terrans that I play on the ladder do not abuse this siege positioning here. And I find it baffling. Every Terran on the ladder should use that siege position. Every single one. And like, no one does. It's, it's flummoxing. Okay, Maru is gonna attack here. Rogue's gonna do a massive counterattack here. And Maru doesn't have a natural wall, so maybe he can get something done. But the Marines here, doing a lot of damage here. Beautiful pickups here. And he could ferry one of the tanks over the, the mineral wall, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Maru's gonna 3-0 Rogue. Maru is actually gonna 3-0 Rogue. Has he won this event the last two times it's happened? Or the last two times, like, in the last four years it's happened? Oh my god, these mutants are gonna get wrecked. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he's enough here to finally push this back. But... Wow. So, yeah, Maru should know that he just needs to build missile turrets and sit nice and tight. Maru doesn't have a third base yet, which is a little bit concerning, but... He's still in a much better position. Rogue doesn't even know what upgrades are. He's trying to get Minas to do something, but there's just... There's just too much here for Maru. Like, the only way for Rogue to win here is if this Muta Ling counterattack gets more damage done than any Muta Ling counterattack has ever done in a game of StarCraft. But we're talking against Maru on three bases with 60 workers. It's not likely. Gets a siege take here. Very nice. And to be clear, Rogue's Muta Micro is actually really excellent. I love the way that he uses his Mutas in this uh, engagement, but looks like the Lings are going to get picked off here. Um, can he get the tank? He will. Getting the tanks here is really nice, but I just don't think it's enough. I think Rogue's just way too far behind. Maru's going to be up an entire upgrade in their next engagement. Rogue is just now starting plus one carapace. Oh my god. That is one of the saddest resource lost tabs I've ever seen in my life. Rogue is being very active with these meters though. Again, that's the only thing that, like, that's the only thing that can keep him in this game is if he just never lets Maru move out with the Midas. He's trading very efficiently here so far. Rogue is taking a fourth base. His crepe spread is understandably bad. He's getting a lot of medevacs here. Again, these Midas are trading very well. Like, Rogue is playing out of his mind right here, but he's still so far behind. He's so far behind. Maru's at 72 SCVs. Rogue's at 62 drones. And Rogue is desperately trying to take a fourth base here. He's going to be able to get this turret. He's probably going to harass the refineries. I would honestly go for the NG base. Looks like Rogue is going to go... He's going to pull all the way back here. And Rogue is now going to drone up his very needed fourth base. Again, with very little creep here. I mean, if Maru just lets Rogue keep him at home, then maybe Rogue can come back here? But, man, I would have left after the Hellions, bruh. Obviously, he can't afford to. This is his last chance to stay in this tournament. But... Alright, so Mara's getting Tunneling Claws. He's getting, um... And he's getting, uh, a Thora as well. Is it Tunneling Claws or Drilling Claws? I know one of them was the old name for the Lurker upgrade, and one of them was the, uh, name for the Widowline upgrade. Did that turret just burn down? Or did he do a bailing run by? Better than a bailing run by. He's at 80 drones. His upgrade situation looks abysmal and his creep spread is non-existent. Like, Rogue is... If Rogue comes back in this game, that would be the comeback of the frickin' century right here. It's drawing claws for mines? Okay. Tunneling Claws is for Roaches. And then Digging Claws was the old Zerg upgrade. There's way too many adverbing claws in StarCraft. And these Mutas here from Rogue are still paying off in dividends here. The bio from Maru is split very well, but Rogue is somehow finding damage here. Again, just unable to get creep out on this map. And he's double expanding here. I actually quite like this a lot. 
getting an, inf an infestation pit now. It's very late, but he didn't have a choice. Six more turrets going down here. Um, can Mario save that turret from burning down? I don't think so. Unfortunately not. And now with these Bailings coming in, maybe. Uh, the sensor tower just finished though. Can Rogue get anything done with these Bailings here? We're gonna find out. He's trying to move command them onto these uh, Marines. Beautiful splits here from Maru. And he does save the fourth CC. And he does not lose any ESPs. Okay, so Rogue's, Rogue's bringing this back. But once Maru starts plus three, this is looking really dire for Rogue. Because he has to wait for his hive to get his plus three. Um, which reminds me, Maru, start plus three. Maru's actually floating a lot of money right here. I think he's a little bit flustered with the Mutas right now. Uh, this is this is actually a really this is actually a really big area here. Holy crap, we got a raid! We got a raid, gamers. We got a raid from Bang. Holy crap! We're watching a competitive StarCraft here. And Maru has been wrecking Rogue so far. Holy crap. I hope you had a marvelous stream, Bang. If I was playing StarCraft right now, I'd throw up my impression of you, but I can't. This is an amazing bailing run by here from Rogue. Actually gonna kill the fourth base here from Maru, but Maru's counterattack is gonna kill the fifth base here of Rogue and possibly the fourth base here of Rogue as well. Now Rogue has to transfer all of his mining down here to the bottom right here. Ro oh God, Maru just let all those drones walk by. That was actually a massive blunder there. The Glizzy Gladiators are welcome here. Thank you. 16 SMEs going down here. I still think this is much better here for Mario. Okay, Rogue's actually gonna attack in on this. The Thor dies, and there's actually not enough anti air here. Mario's gonna lose a lot of this bio here. The one of my shots are amazing, though. And Rogue, both armies just got heavily diminished there, but I think Rogue actually has enough munis here to take this out. Rogue dropping the Ultra Cavern now. Getting Adrenal Lands, and he needs to somehow get plus three throughout all this. Oh no! A burrowed link here. Mario scans, lands the CC. Very nicely played there from Rogue. I don't know how he got Burrow during all this nonsense. I feel like that's just not something he could have possibly afforded. But again, Rogue with very little creep spread here is in a dire position. And Rogue's and Mario's plus three is just significantly faster here. Rogue is still getting so much utility out of these mutas though. It's insane. I can't believe Mario actually let the muta count get this high when Rogue's economy was that much in shambles. Okay, looks like Rogue coming in on these missile turrets here. Um, he is going to pick off quite a few of them. And he's getting a lot of add-ons. Again, I gotta say, the efficiency of these meters here from Rogue has been outstanding so far. And Rogue's going for Ultralisks as well here. And now, I, like, I, I think... So, yeah, these mutas have been equalizing this game somehow. Oh my god, the burrowed bailings, please. No! God damn it! It would have been so good. Okay, so this base is gonna die. The bottom center base is gonna die. Rogue just has no creep and he can't defend any of this. Okay, so Rogue's gonna start getting Ultras out now. There's actually a pretty scary amount of Marauders already in this army. Concussive Shells is almost done. And I don't think that Rogue can stop this push. I don't think he can. Maru's army supply is commandingly high here. And uh, this is a really amazing entrance here from Rogue. The Bailings try to get on top of as much of this bio as they can, but it just doesn't get the connections it needs. Maru's army is steamrolling forward here. So many of the Bailings weren't actually done morphing before the fight. Rogue's gonna try to take this once more. Maru's stepping on creep here. The Bailings actually crash into the Thor here. And I think that the, these two Thors in the back win this. Like, the Venus can't contest the bio. This is over. Mar Maru's done it. Maru's gonna 3 0 this. Mar Maru is going to 3 0 this game, this set, this match, this series. Rogue is going to lose 3 to 0. One of the best Zergs in the world, and the previous winner gets 3 0'd by Maru. Oh my god. Maru is a madman. Holy hell.